Welcome to the Food Quiz Project. This project is a ton of fun because we are going to be learning a lot more about two different types of blocks. We're going to be learning about cloning blocks and broadcasting blocks. Once you learn how to use those within Scratch, you can do a ton of fun interactive projects. So I'm going to show you just a couple of cloning projects and a broadcasting project, and then I'm going to talk about this project. So once you learn how to use those cloning blocks, you can make a fun little mouse trail where your sprite is just cloning itself, making copies of itself, and following my mouse pointer. Then you can go on, you can do another type of cloning project. You can create a dynamic background, a moving background. Out of just two sprites, I can make a whole snowfall happen. And so that kind of creates a little bit more personality to your project. You can even create games with the cloning button or blocks. And then you can come and you can make a balloon pop where it's just going to create different clones of itself around, randomly around. And I can make scores. I can make it disappear if I don't get them fast enough. And you can just make any kind of fun game. So with our cloning blocks, we can do a lot of fun things. With our broadcasting blocks, we can do a lot of interactive things with users. When you're on a website or in any interactive project, usually there's some broadcasting going on. Think of it like the bell at school. When the bell goes off at school, that signals something. And it starts a series of events or actions in other people. So when you do that in a project, if I click on this button down here, that means that I am going to then broadcast to other sprites and characters and my project that I want something to happen. And so it's going to start a series of events and things are going to change. So I have just made a quick choose your own adventure project. And if you just click on ocean, it's going to send some broadcasting. It's going to change the background. It's changing the question and it's changing the buttons down here. It's giving all the other parts of my project a series of instructions. So we are going to put that all together and make a food quiz. Instead of having a fun snowfall, we are going to have gently falling food coming down. And so that is our cloning tool. And then we're going to broadcast a lot during our quiz. We're going to be changing our background. We're going to be changing our buttons and our questions. So I hope you have fun doing this project and let's get started.